Hello everyone and welcome to this video where I have some exciting news for the Alta container ship, all thanks to an awesome Discord member of mine. I love browsing the community and looking at the awesome creations that the Discord members here have made. Some of them are really awesome and impress me, and some of them are funny in a good way, some of them are just advanced, and I could tell that the people had taken the time to make something really awesome. One of them is this stabilization system that Matt2003 made, and you could see here that it's holding a rib and it's holding out at a pretty big cantilever, and yet the ship is staying stable. And for reference, then Matt shows this picture here, how it works when the stabilization system is disabled. So I reached out to Matt and I asked him if he could lend me this uh, creation to sort of look at and see how his stabilization system works. And he went one step further and actually released a creation that everybody can use here. And it is a universal stabilization microcontroller. Since day one, I knew that this ship was a little bit unstable just due to the fact that it has a fair, fairly slender sort of frame. Like it's quite tall and quite narrow. And with that in mind, I do have the active stabilization system in the form of these propellers that are on the bottom and they actually activate and prevent, um, the ship from rolling over but when you're trying to use a really big cantilever and even this crane here you can see that the ship will start to list quite heavily in fact and that's just the weight of the crane itself to the point where we have this activation of the uh, propellers and it does lift it up but I did want to explore other options, specifically an option where I have a bit better of a stabilization system and that can help people pick up containers a little easier here. Matt was kind enough to actually give me his ship to, for reference and I was able to kind of dig in here and there's this area that actually has a ton of weights and you can see here that it slides on this track system and prevents the ship from tipping over. Now, I do want to give it a test here in the video, so all I'm going to do is clear some of this railing and throw on a lot of weights on one side, and then we're going to go over here and turn on the microcontroller. Right now, it is on a constant on, but we're just going to put a quick toggle just so I could show you exactly how this microcontroller works. And I know that this is not Matt's invention. People have been using this type of microcontroller for a long time with kind of weight stabilization systems and all it is is a PID controller, the linear track and a tilt sensor. So there's a bunch of variations of these but what I really liked about this one was the fact that it looked as if it just um it looked as if it worked in a universal way meaning that you didn't have to really calibrate the weights. That was quite impressive because I did play around with some of this, these types of systems and I've even implemented and created my own system that I used in some of my boats, specifically this one, because it was so tall and slender and I really had to put a weight system. So here you have just a couple of weights and a track and it's all connected to a little microcontroller that I have up here and it works decently let's say maybe it works in a very similar way but i just wanted to sort of test out the system with a different ship and to see if we can get the um, box ship to be a little more stable so here we have matt's creation and i know it is unreleased so i don't really want to showcase it too much because that's you know for matt to do and enjoy but here we have it when i've turned on the button you could see the ship is evening out. Now I, oh, there we go. Even with all the weights that I've put up there, quite t high up even, it still balanced itself and stabilized itself. So that is really impressive and awesome to do. So I went ahead and threw it into the gas tank of the Alta container ship because I didn't have anywhere else to put it. Right above the gas tank is this open chamber here that contains 
or holds the containers so there's nowhere else to put it so I put it there and now we're going to test it out and see exactly how it changes the system here. In the version that I'm going to release the button to turn on the stabilization system is actually right here on the control panel very close to where the uh, helm is but for this little test I just threw it into the crane so I could actually turn it on and off and see how the ship will react when we have a container on in this crane's grasp but first let's do the test with just the arm of this crane and if I press the button you can see that it bounces it up quite nicely now one thing that I do have to probably explore if I go into the gas tank you can see it's not going all the way to the end here it's dancing around a little bit and the reason it's dancing is because my propellers are being forced on so the weight moves the propellers turn on and then the weight has to move back so it may not be the most optimal system in this case right now it seems that it's balanced itself so it works quite nicely with smaller weighted things now if I go and pick up the container you will see that it unfortunately is a um, downside on a side note it's unfortunate that this crane can't pick up the container when it's in this area but what may be worthwhile is you turn on the tug controller and just drag it out a little bit it could be that that helps us so if we drag it out disable the tug and then move this back into position and rotate it for the container that's something I just learned now there we go now if I lift this up we're good and then of course if I tip it over you're gonna see this is quite a heavy weight and quite a substantial cantilever it actually kissed the the uh, dock right there and then it moved up so in comparison if I turn this button off this is going to have a bit of a tough time you see that the propellers are working constantly to try to hold us up and even still we are listing quite severely if I turn this on it should bring us back on keel at least ever so slightly here now if I go into the hold you can see that these are all the way on the end here and the ship is kind of leveling out so it can't quite level it all the way especially because the further cantilevered out this container is really the more it wants to list and as I said the whole intention of this system is to just get it on board as quickly as possible so I really don't recommend you sort of hang things off the side even you could use the crane itself to, to raise your ship like this so there is a bit of technique when it comes to some to loading a ship that is this slender it's this way because it is optimized for speed rather than being wide if I made it wide enough to hold um, a container sideways and gave it a bit extra width it would probably be more stable and it probably would not require this type of modification but anyways even with these two active stabilization systems you see that it can level itself out enough such that you don't sink and gives you time to load your container on deck here and not have um, kind of a massive catastrophe on your hands so that is all thanks to Matt 2003 thank you so much for this awesome microcontroller I really do love it for this ship and I may implement it in other ships or I may try going back to the microcontroller that I made on the Regal built and seeing how that works but until then we'll see what comes I have other creations in store and other plans so it is a constant struggle and battle but also it is still fun for me to kind of develop these things I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you enjoy the content the creations all that good stuff stay stormworksing I can't wait to see what other creations and things people come up with until next time